Hello family. It is the 25th of July. It is 10.43 in the p.m. and I have come on to talk about the Basketball Wives of L.A. Now I saw the first episode and then last night I saw two. And so I'm just going to pretty much talk about what I've seen thus far. So I'm going to kind of talk about, um, so it's not going to be in order or anything like that. I'm pretty much going to um, just basically give a synopsis on some of the highlights. Um, and then we'll talk about the, the ladies uh, separately. And um, we're going to start off with Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie, what's up, girl? Look, we about the same age, and I, I feel you, you know. I mean, I love your portrayal on the show, you know. Um, you know, you're doing your thing, you know what I mean? You got your hands in a lot of different things. Um, and I see you, Mama, and I see you working. And, hey, it's working and it's working for you. Stay doing what you're doing. The new place, roll with that. You know what I'm saying? Doug loved you. He ain't going no motherfucking where. You already know this, okay? Sometimes, you know, it's not so much of a break, but just, you know, just give a little space a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And just kind of, you know, just, just to breathe. You know what I'm saying? You're a married woman, so, you know, uh, I, I, I would never tell a woman to leave her husband. It ain't even that type of party, no way. It's too much love between y'all. But if he has to go ahead on and do that, um, and you're doing this, the love is so strong, can't shit go wrong. Um, during the meantime and in between time, y'all got some flights to take, and that's just it. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? We grown folks. You understand what I'm saying? Can't no woman come in and come take what's yours. And you already know this already. That's all you, mama. That's all you. Everybody already know that already. So, hey, if you want to go ahead on and, and roll downtown L.A. and allow him to go ahead on and go overseas and go do all that right there, mama, go on and do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no round of applause, nor do you need no acceptance speeches and motherfuckers, and, you know, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hurrah, rah team and none of that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Doug loves you. You already know it. Run your motherfucking program. What's up on the on this yak and all this other shit we got going on? What's up on that brown while you're bullshitting? Uh, what's up on these books and things and all these other things that we got going? Fuck the dumb shit. Handle your business, mama. But I also want to roll this into Miss Malaysia. Malaysia, look. Now, I really, really like you. I understand it's me plus three, you know what I'm saying? I'm me plus three too. She cocked it in the house, shout out to Isla. You know what I'm saying? But mama, you doing too much right now though. You know what I'm saying? You doing just a little bit too much right now, mama. You got a little bougie going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like the ain't shit getting started till the bitch show up. Calm down, boo. Everybody already know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But mama, you out here doing so motherfucking much though, and cutting the fuck up and all this whole type of shit. Why? What? 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 What is this? You know, leave Angel alone. You know what I'm saying? What? What is with this still animosity over some nigga? That's some yesteryear shit. Leave that shit alone, nigga. Um, you got your own shit going on. Go ahead on. Let me see what's happening on these duvets and shit. Fuck all that other shit. Excuse me. Let her do her. And you do you over here. And keep it pushing. You know what I mean? What is it? Honestly, I'm going to tell you what I think it is, though. I think you got a little salty. Because Brandy done brought her new little partner in from Texas. You know what I mean? She's a beautiful young lady. Got a little DJ thing going on. You know what I mean? And you don't want no competition in that aspect. I think you got a little territorial for the simple fact that, you know, you and Brandy have been down for a long time. And now Brandy done brought in a friend. And it's like, okay, now where do we, I thought I was your bestest friend. And I thought it was just me and you. And where this bitch come from and why this bitch. I think that's more so what it was. You know what I mean? It's the fact that here Brandy is having a party for... You know, her new little partner that she bringing into the show. Can't think of the young lady's name right now. But she bringing her new little partner into the show, and I think you felt it with your way about it. And it was all over your sleeve, you know what I mean? Oh, well, this shit is wacky. You calm down, Malaysia. Calm the fuck down, boo. It ain't that serious. It ain't even that motherfucking deep, okay? But I am going to need y'all to come calm the fuck down off of Shawnee, though. 
Because real shit, she is the one that's running this whole motherfucking program. And you and Brandy is being so motherfucking disrespectful. And the last I motherfucking check, yeah, alimony checks are bomb motherfucking checks, okay? Motherfucking child support checks are bomb motherfucking checks. I got all of that. But that 18 comes up real goddamn quick. You follow me? And one thing I do know about wisdom is you don't want to burn a bridge that you might have to cross back over. Now, you have been blessed to come on this show and make a coin or two. You know what I mean? It ain't about really loving and liking these motherfucking ladies. Baby, y'all on the set. Okay? This is business. Okay? We uh, we tape it on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And this is what we doing on this day. Now, on the 14th of next motherfucking month, we're going to be at location at the motherfucking Malibu Pier. Whatever the get down is. Baby, ride your shit out, but right now you're starting to show it on your sleeve and you're starting to do too motherfucking much. And mama, I've always liked you, you know what I'm saying, Compton, all that. But baby, you showing out just a little bit too motherfucking tough right now, and it ain't no real good look. I'm not liking it. You know what I'm saying? Now, the new little angel, the chocolate one, you know, I don't know who she is, but you know, I, right off the top, uh, Jackie, I think, I, you know what? Honestly, Jackie, real shit, though. I think you get intimidated, though, a little bit. You know, I really think you like pussy. Let me just go and say that. You know what I'm saying? Just part-time. You like a little pussy part-time. But um, I think that you are intimidated by these younger ladies and their figures and, you know, how they get down. But you got money to make your shit look like that if that's what you really wanted. But I really believe, you know, that some women are just squimish when it comes down to going up under the knife. And then, too, sometimes our husbands ain't going for that motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's one or the other. Either you scared of going up under the knife, or hubby ain't going to sign up for that motherfucking program. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, one of the two, because I think you are a little enthusiast about that. You like the way they little hips and shit and they little waistlines and all that. You like all that old type of shit. You really want to rock that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you came through with the fishnet on. I don't know what we was doing with that. You know what I'm saying? But Jackie, I was like, if you don't take this motherfucking fishnet shit off, Apollonia, take this motherfucking shit off right the fuck right now. You know what I mean? Now, I give it to you. Every time you show up now, you're going to have a different motherfucking purse. You want to let these bitches know. Look, check this out. <clears throat> I've been doing this. My husband been in the league for a long motherfucking time. Nigga, this right here is the vintage Chanel right here. This one right here, oh, this right here, oh, this is the Louis Vuitton back, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, this is the 90s version of this one right here. Nigga, uh, this motherfucker, this is the Gucci right here, you don't fuck with it. Uh, this one right here, this, this, my, this is called Miss Prada. I am mad at you, you know what I'm saying? I am not mad at you, mama, you know what I'm saying? But, I think that, you know what I'm saying, you be kind of getting in a little bit too deep. And then, too... Uh, you know, but you kind of, you know, you kind of, you just kind of, you know, you, you know, you be close to your little friends and shit. You really take that shit real serious. And I, and I, I get it. I understand. I'm one of them too. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think you're on a little pussy part time. You know what I mean? I, you be looking at them motherfuckers. You know, and you just trying to give it a reason. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, let's all just get fucked up together. And let's just all, you know what I'm saying, on some old heatonism shit. I don't know. It just seems like you be one of them motherfucking ones that be down with it and shit. You know what I mean? Blame it on the alcohol. I hear you, mom. Blame it on that motherfucking brown. Yeah. Anyway, but now I want to talk about, okay, now, who else is, Tammy. Tammy, listen, mama, Shout out to Shawnee. Shawnee is just giving motherfuckers jobs nowadays. You know what I mean? And I say that in, in, in the utmost respect. You know what I mean? Because I don't really understand what you're doing. I don't know what it is. Are you just coming on the show to be like, uh, you know, an OG? You coming on the show to be Shawnee's friend? You coming on the show? Because don't nobody really owe you no explanations about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Or are you coming in to be the peacemaker? I don't know what you're coming in to do. But, you know, and this youngster that you got, you say you're 17 years older than him. Mama, what are you doing? Like, for real? And then you say that he's around the same age as your two daughters. 
And you like, well, I'm trying to figure out how we gonna all, if we gonna all be able to get along and all this whole type of shit. That's why y'all motherfuckers ain't together now, okay? That's why y'all motherfuckers, I mean, girl, in the face, he looked like he 23. In his face, he looked 23, mama. What was you doing? To each his own. I don't know. Y'all already know. I, I ain't never dated younger like that. In 17 years, he looked like a baby in the face to me. You know what I'm saying? I understand he got full-grown dick and all that. I understand that he's body and all this whole type of shit. But, nigga, if you look it in the face like you 23, oh, my God, girl. And then, and then now, I mean, I understand we all in the 40 club and shit, but now you starting to dress more like it. You know what I mean? I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? You was really up on your game at once upon a time. And it's like your motherfucking ass done got settled down and got tired. Now you talking about having babies. And girl, what the fuck are you doing, Tammy? If you don't slow the fuck down, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy the dick, but goddamn, what is all this whole type of shit? What is you doing, girl? What are you doing? At this age, we don't make no motherfucking babies. We don't even really babysit. Ain't supposed to. Nigga, you supposed to be having some fun at this motherfucking time. I would love to see you with a debonair motherfucker. You know what I mean? Derek Fisher been out there, you know, dating around and shit. But I understand he been with, you know what I'm saying, fucking with the other two, other two basketball wives. One, you know, that had the little twins, Gloria and her sister. So he might be a little bit off limits and shit. And then too, then too, didn't Barnes kind of fuck him up? So I don't know. That motherfucker might be a little bit off limits. But on that caliber, though. Is what I'm saying. Is what I would see you if you're gonna and and still Derek is around. He's all around our age. You know what I'm saying. But more of a debonair type. You know, if you still want to be in a basketball club, why is you fucking with Tammy? I couldn't. I couldn't make out what that was, baby. I don't know what that was. I'm trying to figure that. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure that shit out. Real shit, tell me what, what what you doing, mama? Hmm. What are you doing? And out of all these many years, and I'm looking at you as well, like you done been on all these subsequent shows and done uh, done a few things. And that's why I'm saying to people that watch a lot of reality TV and stuff, and a lot of people automatically assume. And I'm not saying that you don't have any money, so let me be clear on that. But you know, people automatically assume when you're on TV. You're balling out of control. You got so much money. You're doing this, 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 this. Oh, my God. They're driving Bentleys and this, 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 this. And a lot of times that don't be their stuff. You know what I'm saying? That don't be their stuff. You know? And when you see motherfuckers constantly moving around and showing an instability. You know what I mean? And it's like, so now Tammy's moving back to L.A. Okay? So it's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. My mindset is to get somewhere and sit the fuck down. Okay? It costs too much money to be moving and moving and moving and moving and moving and U-Haul trucks and moving and moving and moving. I don't see no future in that. I don't know. I guess I'm just not really wired that way. I don't know. I just don't see... I don't see the point in constantly moving. And it's like... As many times that you've been on different shows and stuff, it's like, what the fuck did you do with your money, mama? Like, what did you do with your money? Man, I, when I was looking at you last night, it's like, man. Or maybe it was just, you know, maybe you were just going through a thing, you know, because you had these miscarriages and stuff. And could you maybe think, maybe that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe you should not be trying to have no baby. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe you should not be trying to have no baby, mama. You know, and it's like, you know, just looking at you and it was like, like, wow, this is not the Tammy that I, you know, back Tammy, you know what I'm saying? Always sharp, always this and this and this, always on 10. And it just seemed like, I don't know. Maybe it was me. I don't know. Maybe I just, was uncomfortable with the look. Maybe it was the fact that I'm like, why? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take away from whether or not, you know, I like you or or anything like that because, 
you know, hey, I, I really like you. I like what you stand for. I'm glad that you ain't doing all this motherfucking fighting no more. Because for a minute, you was fighting everything that was had something to say. It's like, damn, bitch, what's going on? It's like, wow. So I'm kind of glad that you kind of settled down on the fighting aspect of it all. But I don't know. It's just something just kind of didn't seem right. You know? Um, so, I don't know. Um, now, the little um, angel. Um, I really adore your clothing line. So I'm talking about the little senorita. I think she's so pretty. The one with the little cute little girl. Um, I don't know how many children you have, but you letting it be known that you're running your own ship, and I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, you are on the juggling act. You know, and it's very commendable. I see you. I see what you're doing. And I'm certain a lot of women see you. And, you know, the way Malaysia's acting, she could be a little salty. You know what I'm saying? Because, hell, you are doing this without the backing of a lot of different things. And you are out here making some shit happen. But the stimulation and association works hand in hand. And your little clique that you roll with, Tammy from Hip Hop Atlanta, you know what I mean? Bambi and all those girls, you know, you rolling with a, you know, you, you got a little clique that, you know, that's, that's real tight, real cool. They got some real cute little things going on. And, you know, I don't know, and them motherfuckers in a minute gonna be like, well, damn, wasn't Bambi one time Malaysia friend? And, you know, so I don't know. Uh, once again, I, I didn't want to come on here and be biased. But I still wanted to speak on a little bit of the show. Speak on some things that I can speak on on the show. And I really like it. I really like where the show is going. Um, I just need Malaysia to calm down on this little pettiness. This little pettiness is kind of, nigga, it ain't a good look. So anyway, on that note, I'm tired. It's going on 11 o'clock. I'm all over the place. I'm getting extra wordy. But I wanted to speak on that. I wanted to get my little spin on it. So on that note, family, I'm gone. You guys have a good night. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Bye-bye.